Hello, welcome to ClickCentral.com. Um, this is the latest video in the collection of a few. Just sort of talking about design, um, some sort of standard design for ClickView. So the last video I did the overview, um, just took you around the different elements um, of this dashboard design. Now I'm going to focus in on some key points. What I'm focusing now is is this sort of selection here, which indicates that you have got selections made within the database, and if you click on that it will open up the current selection so you can see what's going on and the green denotes the selections made if you clear them off it'll go white you can still open up the current selections obviously as no selections are made then nothing will show in this box here so let's talk you through how that works um, there's actually two elements um, to this button I've brought them out down here. You, you can just about see um, the background image, um, and then there's a there's a PNG transparent image that sits over the top. So if I just make a quick selection, you'll be able to see that a bit clearly. So that's they're, they're layered, so that sits over the top, um, a slightly higher than this um, text box here. So we're using the layout. So we've got minus five for the uh, color and just on the bottom, so negative one uh, for the PNG, so it sits over the top and then if we organise it right we, we can't really tell that it's sort of two objects there. So first of all the the, uh, the PNG image has got an action, you can tell that by the way the mouse changes to a hand and, and this doesn't. So if we look at the action, All we're doing is setting some variables. Now there's a number of variables to set because there's a number of different things that may appear with on the sheets. Uh, we talked in the overview about the, the, the sort of the, the selection groups and also the advanced filters. And what this is doing first of all is just making sure that those are set to zero. Um, so if they were selected at that time, they would hide. And then we make the current selection show, and we use a sort of a logical knot. Uh, statements so it will hide and unhide it. So if current selections is zero, then we'll make it one, else we'll make it zero. In other words, it was one to begin with. So it's either going to switch it on or switch it off. And I'm using the, the one and zero as the sort of the binary flag, um, which is the same as sort of yes and no um, in a sense. So you can switch it on and switch it off. And obviously, if something else is showing at the same time, then that will hide it also. And that's what the variables are doing there. So it's very simple variable structure. And, this, and the current selection box here, the conditional show, is that variable that we've just set and made it one. As long as that variable equals one, as long as this statement is true, in other words, one equals one, then it will show. And that's that's basically how that works. Okay, so looking a little bit more into the colour. Um, the colour is set dynamically through a calculated field and if we just want to have a look at that you can see things are calculated and uses this sort of FX on there so we're calculated so basically there's a variable set up for number of current selections if that variable equals zero then we're going to make it white and if it's not zero we're going to make it green so that will change the difference between them Okay, so we go on to variable overview, and here is number of current selections, and uh, this is how the variable is defined. So basically, there's a few things going on there. First of all, we see if get current selections if that string has a val as has contains information of words it's not null, and, and if it's not null, then we move into the calculation, which I'll talk you through. And if it is null, then straight away we'll set it to zero. And obviously zero will make it white. I have done it slightly differently than what you may expect. So theoretically, you could also say if the current selection is greater than zero, then we're definitely going to make it one. We're definitely going to make it green. Uh, and in this example, it would be the case. Um, but what I haven't done in, in here, um, but I will do in, in, in another dashboards I create is I allow to admit certain fields so if certain fields that they could potentially be selected but I don't want to show them um, green within that and I can actually admit them here so this takes it to a slightly different level rather than just straight straightforward saying is this value null or is it not 
Okay, so we'll take you through that, that variable. So we talked straight away about this sort of logical statement to say is is are there some current selections made? And if there is, then we sort of look at this area here. And like I said, the reason for that is because we can emit fields at this point. So just breaking it down, we, we do a substring count of get current selections with the pipe delimiter and we look for the occurrences of the pipe delimiter. So get current selections pipe delimiter will will give you this result. Now I've only got one selection made so I'm going to do a further one. So now we've got two selections made so we've got a pipe delimiter between Customer City Chicago, customer company is company Y, and the pipe delimiter splits that um, those different fields up. So what we're doing now is subscreen count um, of the pipe. So looking through there, we can see that the pipe occurs only once, so it gives it a value of one. And then within the the formula itself, we plus one because we know if there is a delimiter will always plus one and even if there isn't a delimiter will always plus one because get current selections isn't null so we know that there's something in there so that gives us a, a variable of two so that variable of two ensures that uh, this number which well, is definitely not zero so anything else apart from zero one two three four you know upwards to as many as you, you could think of will give it a green color Okay, so that's that's basically it. It's talking you through that sort of area, and the reason behind it again is just so um, the the current selection box doesn't take up too much space within your design. Um, it's quite standard to have a very large current selection box at some you know area within the design, and I think really that's not required. Um, basically because people know what selections they are making and they only need to refer to them now and again just to double check things and, and for that it's this for me works you know just as well you, you can see that selections are there and if you want to have a quick look to see what selections you've made then you can do I don't believe there's this requirement to take up a large area when actually a very small area will do okay hope you enjoyed that and um, we're going to do some more videos of talking through the other area elements of um, this sort of dan standard dashboard design um, please subscribe to my click view channel um, on youtube it's clickcentral.com um, and also the the blog uh, which is again clickcentral.com uh, loads more um, videos and um, how-to guides on there um, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon